Yo! Hi, Terabus. Hi, Jazz. What's up? What's up? Ain't nothing but a heartache and nothing but a mistake. Yo, Terra, it's all good if you can't stay. You can always watch the VOD if you want. I'm probably gonna edit some videos hopefully soon. I keep saying that, but hopefully it'll actually happen soon. So then it'll be up on my YouTube channel so you don't have to watch the entire VOD or like stream. Uh, Rubik, thank you for the follow. What's up, dude? Welcome. Um, yeah, it's time to play this new game. Hang on, I'm gonna turn down the music a bit because it's distracting. Uh, it's time to play this new game. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet because it's beautiful. I turned it on yesterday just to make sure everything was set up for stream. It's so good. It's so nice. So yeah, I'm 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 hyped, man. Um, my hair is so long. Did I mention this? Look at this, dude. Look, look, look at all, look at all this. It's getting so bad. I have a haircut on Saturday, so it'll it'll be fixed. But for now, I just got a hoodie on to fix it. It's it's better. Not much. How you doing? I'm doing good, dude. I'm vibing. What's up, Melon? What's up, Emma? Um, yeah, I'm vibing. I don't have too much homework today. I have to write an essay that's due Monday, so obviously that's a Sunday night kind of problem. I've got a little bit of math homework. Never takes me that long. Like maybe thirty minutes. Um, I generally watch like Disney or, or YouTube while doing it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um. So yeah, I'm literally just vibing. Uh, let's 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 open up this game. Uh, I'm gonna switch to okay. Look at those luscious locks, dude. My hair is nice. I like it. It's just so long sometimes, and I hate that. But I'm gonna switch to the screen. It's gonna be black for a sec. But I want you guys to see everything about it because I think it's beautiful. Come on, load. It's open for me. It's not open for you guys for some reason. There we are. Look, look at how nice this looks. Don't not entertainment made uh the the two games life is strange and life is strange 2 those are t the two games that i know of um with guidance from cultural mental health and transgender advocates oh i didn't know about this it's about family vi violence and emotional trauma so if you guys aren't okay with that um definitely decide if you want to watch or not um but yeah it's they made life is strange and life is strange 2 both games that are absolutely beautiful um both narrative based games just like this one story based games or like story driven games is great i love it but um yeah i i, I really want to play this one because i'm hyped why is my controller not connecting what the heck why no oh it's because i turned the bluetooth off on my computer like an idiot i forgot it connects with bluetooth there we go i'm back yo welcome back tara but yeah, I'm very hyped. Um, there's apparently a collectibles and stuff. I saw this yesterday. So obviously I'm going to go for it because you know how I am. Let me just make sure the audio is good. Music is lower. I, I don't want to get DMCA'd if there's any music here that can do that for me. I'll turn in headphone mode. I have headphones on, so I'll do it. Um, cool. Cool. Subtitles are on. Um, okay, we're good. We're good. Let's let's just start. Tell me why is a story-based game that takes your ch choices into account to shape your relationships with other characters and choose wisely. Took me a second to read that. Wow. I have water this time. It's not ginger ale. Let's go. I feel good, dude. I haven't drank much water today. It feels really nice to drink it. It's really cold. <laughs> it's really cold water. All right. We're in Alaska. What is he eating? What are they eating? What is that? Hey, kiddo. Ah, it's a I kid. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? No, it's not Minecraft. Sorry, Mason. I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. 
My mom tried to kill me, so... Oof. So I stabbed her. Holy shit, dude. I killed my mother. That is a start. That is a start. Hydrate. If you guys have water, drink some. I like how it's gonna play the Minecraft drinking noise in the middle of this emotional drama- like, psychological drama game. This is a really weird texture pack? Yeah. Yeah, I- I wanted to take a break from ISMP today, cause, uh, I didn't really know what to do. I'll probably come back. Maybe Friday, maybe next Wednesday, let's see. But, uh, this game just looks beautiful. There's three chapters to it. I have all three. Uh, you can play the first one for free anywhere on steam on xbox it doesn't matter that's just free that's what they do that's what they did with life is strange as well you get to wake up at 8 a.m i have to wake up at 6 <laughs> what but yeah if you guys want to play you can always play this first chapter but i'll be playing the other two i don't know if it'll be today i think i'll do one chapter per stream so next tuesday or friday i don't know i'll be uh doing the next chapter hopefully i don't know how long the chapters are so i might not even finish this one on stream today who knows yet? I'm gonna be here for a little bit because I got therapy and then I'm gonna stream. Okay, well enjoy, enjoy your day. No worries. I I just gotta start tagging the mods to make sure there's at least like one mod around. <laughs> I'd rather not like have to do all of the because like whenever someone activates a reward that isn't hydrate or creeper. Uh, I have to like confirm it and make sh make it go through or whatever or else they can reject it and get their money back. I can stand in for one stream if you want. I'm escaping from school as much as I fucking want, can. I don't I don't need any more mods. I just forget to remind my mods like hey, I'm streaming so then they just don't realize. It's like fully my fault. <laughs> so So what's happening here? There's two people vibing. I haven't been focusing. <laughs> As always with these story games. I'm I'm great. I love doing these story games though. I know I'm like bad at focusing on the actual story sometimes, but it's nice to to have like a through thread throughout a stream. Cause sometimes streams are very like chaotic and like all over the place and you have no idea what's going on. There's like no proper storyline. Okay, if we get no first, tips from Twitch, we'll know. But... Keys to the old house. Ooh, okay, then, I'm actually playing that. I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Yo, that weed's fire. Oh, I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. Yo, stream? It makes me happy just to look at the box. A Journey Through the Stars, Witches of Eldham, Season 1 and 2. Okay. Cool. And, and this. This is pretty cool. I think spaceships are pretty cool. I would never want to go to space, I don't think. Me to Juno. I don't know. That might be poorly aged. Maybe I'll be the first man on the moon. Wait. Not possible. Not here. <laughs> first man on Mars? I don't know. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. Nightwatch Alaska by Arnold Thierry. This looks hey, so nice. Wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Look at yeah, look at this game. At sales pitch. It, it's so beautiful. I just can't with with the games that don't not entertainment makes. Oh yeah. god, there's a lot to look at. Drawer, maybe? I, I can look at the desk drawer. Oh, I can't look at the desk drawer. <laughs> desk drawer, I lied. To do gift itinerary, snacks and drinks, car keys, house key. Okay, so house keys are the last All thing. Set, I think. Still need to find those damn house keys. I'm literally just looking for house keys. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. I well, won't. I've already done that three times this morning. Reconsider budget. Doc strike to begin this week. Mayoral election supports gun control and money for local schools. All right, Tom Vecchi. All right. I, s I see you. You've disappointed every astronaut aspiring toddler. <laughs> First Twitch streamer on the moon. I'm so gonna hit it off. Yes! I'm gonna be like laser beam and ninja there it's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years oh okay so we're about to see that other the, that guy that was like the other guy in the title sequence um is it under the bed oh right i stashed them down why 
<laughs> Why would you have? Are they car keys or house keys? I wasn't listening. I think it was house keys, right? Why do you keep those under the bed? Oh, you have a lot of. Is that a Yoda? It's not a Yoda. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Imagine if that was a Yoda. Just baby Yoda cameo. Wait, I want to look this at this first. Like I guess I won't look at it then. I just. I don't get to get a close up. It's fine. See, they're really good with psychological drama, so this is going to be terrifying, I think. This is going to be right. a really interesting game. I think I'm ready to go now. They also support LGBT. I mean, like, Life is Strange 2 had a whole, uh, I'm pretty oh, sure it had, like, a whole lesbian really arc in it. To force Tyler to watch it's been a while since He's I watched totally it. Gonna hate it. But it means that this game is actually going to be a little bit more... Do with myself when it's over? It's and just going to have more to people? it than the basic shit that some games always have. Like, it's not going to have, like, a, it's probably not going to have, like, a, like, a cishet relationship or whatever as the main dynamic or whatever. There'll be more to it, that's all I'm saying. I, I, I'm, like, really hyped probably to see what happens. See stars at this time of day. If you like psych psychological games, I would recommend my favorite game, Night in the Woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I definitely, I still haven't downloaded it. I'm definitely going to play it. She weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. I could look at this artwork all day. I was, I, I, that was actually one of the options for today because I didn't know what I wanted to do today. I was like pretty sure I didn't want to do ISMP. Uh, and then I see on my Twitter feed like, oh, check it out. New game on the Game Pass by the people who made Life is Strange. I don't even think it said by the people who made Life is Strange. I just saw the artistic style and I was like, oh my God, it's Life is Strange, isn't it? It's the creators. And I've never played it. I've practiced since high school. I haven't played Life is Strange before or the second one. I just watched videos of it and I, uh, it's been like years and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can actually play from the people who made the game. I can play a game from them. So I was like, I have to do it. <laughs> I love those games, man. I never played it, but watching like Matt Pat and Jack Sept Pep Jack Sept uh, <laughs> Watching them play it ages ago was just... Ah, I loved it. I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why a weird informal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just want to give my twin a... Oh, twin. Okay. A shout... Before re reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like a letter territory. Whatever, you'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See, always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How is your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyways, the vet cheese let me take the day off. Didn't we just hear about a guy named Vetchi? Isn't wait, isn't that the candidate for mayor in the mayor election? It was like Tom Vetchi or something. The vet cheese let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. So we've got Tyler who's in juvie, I guess, in jail and getting out in a few weeks. Or, I guess, getting out now, and he's going to see his twin again for the first time in 10 years. Um, or, I don't know, Swank Juvie might be, like, a joke about not jail, but it's, like, college or some crap. I don't know. I, I don't know this lingo, but um, the apparently Allison works for the family, the mayoral family or something. I don't know. Let's see. But... This game is always. I believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay. Ooh, this is a nice I'm room. Pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. <laughs> Your goblin? Um. So yeah, th these games always have like something underneath. I feel like, like from this studio, and I feel like a lot of narrative ga narrative games do. So I'm gonna try to read everything that I can until I get bored. <laughs> the soundtrack to my angst. Been listening to this in a loop lately. Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. <laughs> okay, so they're, I think, I think they're, uh, oh, wait, I have to read every, okay, I don't really care. I think they're selling their old house, <laughs> wow, I just bit my tongue while I was talking. I was thinking of EST when I said that they're, okay, and stay for like an hour more, okay, sick. But, uh, yeah, I think that they are selling an old house, that's what it sounds like. Shit, I gotta do. Tutoring, help pres with college admission, yeah, so they're in college. Call Dr. Beck, re-counseling sessions with Jeremy, me, Aaron, re-garden, gardening program set up, miss, miss, oh, miscellaneous. 
Finished paperwork for Escape W2 and Letter November 2nd and something for Allison. So yeah, it looks like, um, it's the A, sorry, what's up? Uh, it looks like Tyler isn't actually in jail. He is just in college, which is like probably the same thing. I haven't been to either of them. <laughs> Not yet. That view? Not yet. We'll see which one we get to first. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Shelter from the Flood. I don't know if that's a real book and they're actually roasting an author. Um, ooh, what's this? Uh, Love you, thank you. Best mentor, later Tyler. You escape. good luck. Um, oh, I can actually see this. We'll miss you, see you soon. Vaya con Dios. Canon trans, trans character? Wait, who? What? Did I miss something? I mean, they did say in the opening that they support trans or like I, I don't know what the words were like trans resources I think but um is it from here did I miss something man he's going places did I did I see this I'll one I'll be able to say I helped him on his way he has a book about trans health oh oh I didn't even read the middle one the transgender man's guide to healthy masculinity okay yeah well they did like I said they start off the game Without any context, they just said that they, like, something about transgender resources and being supportive. So I assume that there'd be a trans character in the game. So I assume that Tyler might be trans. That makes sense. What's up, Abby? Hey, little guy. Oh, they both have the same one. Him. That's so cute. Oh. Also, this dude has a handsome face. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. I found my first game collectible. <gasps> Yo! I love him. I was gonna say it when the, the opening started, but I didn't want to interrupt, but this dude's handsome. <laughs> Bye, Herbert. <laughs> you named your plant Herbert? <laughs> Are you serious? Celebrate, educate, unite. Transvility. Wow. Visibility March on Juno, March 30th. Is that? Wait, 30 days had September, April, June, and November. Okay, so March 31st is a real date. <laughs> 5.30 p.m. to late. Uh, brought to you by Juno Coalition for Equality. Because it's an herb. Oh, it's an herb. Okay, I understand. You're right. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Fire in the hole. Quentin... Is that Quentin Bambino? B Does it say Babulino? It totally does. It says Bobolino. I assume that's meant to be con qu like a joke, Did not. but it's a joke. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm taking so long. Take me this box of junk slash treasures is now yours by the first law of finders keepers. Well, take it. What do you mean I have to leave without it? What? No. Wait, I wanna testosterone and refill. I assume that. It, I assume that. Uh. What's the word? Abbreviation is testosterone or something, TRX. I don't know. The, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is this is your official mention. Like this is your, a game can hook me in just by putting a trans character in it. Yeah, not mention. This is your official proof, I guess. There is indeed a trans main character in this game right off the get go. Don't not entertainment is great. I'm telling you, this game this game studio is amazing. They're great. Hey Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but just want to say you've been the best counselor and and at oh an at risk yet redeemable youth. Haha, could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Okay, just realized. Okay, so he's at risk. So I would assume that he is in one of those places that you send like bad kids it's not like juvie it's just um it's just somewhere you like at risk kids go it's not exactly Ju juvie because i think juvie's governmental isn't it um but yeah he's like he's finally out of the at risk area like he's finally able to move on and be his own person now i think that's please give me water and sun thanks oh we have to leave herbert gonna call it herber not herber if it's an herb uh, unless you want me to call it a herb 
Anna is the kid from the beginning who cut his hair, therefore his mom freaked out and he like stabbed her, which is why he's here and which is why they avoid saying the kid's gender in the beginning. Not Aiden, Tyler. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, what the hell? Why'd you do that? What? Aiden is the last name of the VA. Yeah. Why, why, why'd they toss the thing? Um, but yeah, if he stabbed his mom, hey, Tyler. that could be kind of sad. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. <laughs> Sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Aw. Likewise. Already tearing up, and we haven't even gotten to psychological crap. Do you have anything else you need to get? <laughs> nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. Ferry? You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep. We're screwed. <laughs> So, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Props to these guys for having a trans voice actor play a trans character. Ooh, I assume you searched up <laughs> more about the game. The food, what do I miss about this place? The food or the people? I could, I'm just gonna jokingly say the food. It sounds like something mm. you'd say. The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home for a while, you know? Oh. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. <laughs> nah, I'll take my chances. It's a nice car. Last look or anything? Looked. Food! <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> yeah, man. I, I doubt he would be super sentimental. Like, from just a few seconds we've seen of him, he's like very jokey. Like, when we saw the post-its on the wall, he was like, I'm gonna miss these dum-dums. We just got an achievement. Left Fireweed Residential Center. 50 gamer points. Look at that. I'm moving up in the world. I love getting gamer score. It's, it's, it's so nice to hear that sound go off, no, and you're like, oh, really? I got an achievement. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Yo. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up, and there was the bear. What bad the and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. August Aiden is a trans mask actor so who also happened. seems to have a YouTube channel. Nice. I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Birdie! <laughs> Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Birdie, that thank one. you for the three gifted okay. subs. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Welcome to the stream. A long way in keeping them from getting shot. I noticed Elliot beat really me in gift subs again. Oh my god. For now. Thank you so much. That's very you kind of you. Talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again. Need that badge call? Yo, what's up, Sherry? It's been a while. Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps. Helga and drama and got two of the subs. Hunting. Very nice. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I will win this war. <laughs> I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I'm still confused what Tyler's backstory is, like in terms of like, is he in school? Certificate in accounting from an online college. Jazz. My credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about zero point zero zero dollars. And my fog lights are dead. Mason, thank you for the hundred bits. That's very kind of you. I don't know if it's okay for some reason it didn't go off on my screen which is weird i also wasn't listening because <laughs> you guys are just giving me money allison wild thank you so much guys that's very kind of you sorry what's up i'm sorry i'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here standing beside me 
This is such a cute game things. already. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Alerts don't seem to be working. They work for follows. I'll have to figure out why they're not working for Twitch subs and bits and stuff. But uh, I'm guessing. Know that I appreciate much. you guys very you much. Mean in Still the capital of East Jesus. <laughs> You don't have to throw money at me. I'm pretty sure you guys just got me over the top. I think I just got to the $100 uh, amount that I need. Oh, wait. I need a... The... Uh, I wasn't listening. Crap. <laughs> I guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations. What do you use for the alerts? I think stream elements. Having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. That's so true. weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. Stream mounts is weird sometimes. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to switch to something better. Him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he I gotta doing? make my own animation first, though. So. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? More Melican? That one over there? No, no. the one just beyond it. You oh, know, the one. one the elders say is haunted. Is oh, the one with actual smoke coming out of it. Yeah, smart. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point. And got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Look at this. Sounds Look how beautiful fun. this game yeah. is, dude. This is a this is a selfie kind of moment. <laughs> oh my god. I, I love I love this so much. I'm so hyped. I love this so much. You guys can tell. So, we're really going oh, back there. This huh? is the best stream ever. Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. Oh, yeah. At least it's got one hell of a view. Someone, like Juno. probably Tyler, hey, Juno murdered has views the mom. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Again? I don't know. You've been asking a lot of questions. Wait! No, it was meant to be jokey! No! I'm so- I was a little overexcited. I'm just no! With you. Okay, more. there we go. Holy crap! <laughs> um, I mean, after you, well, graduated- I was so I sad! I was like, no! became a mentor three years ago. You still basically so spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Mason, it's all good if you could talk about it. I think it's great that there's like more representation, especially in a game like this, especially a game that's on the Game Pass, so it's more open to people to play. So yeah, Tyler's a classic trans dude name, and I love that they named the character that. Allison. Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. Did you see his hair in that one what shot? Is it? it looks so cool. I their, their style is amazing. Look at that hair. It's a gift. Look at her hair. Maddie. It's all, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't okay, And so your adopted he... father, yeah. the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up. Are you going to ask for that hairstyle? Maybe. For both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. I'm getting a haircut Saturday. Offering. I could. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please... For me? He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. It fit you? Um, let's say fine. Like, let's just... I, I know it must be difficult, but fine. it's it means something to Allison. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. I can, I can make Just you do a photo clear. shoot. Yeah, okay. This was for you. See, that's... Not Chief Brown. Yeah, I agree well, with that. You could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass.
because they have this weird relationship with the police officer, I guess, who arrested Tyler. Uh, here's what I'm piecing together. Police officer arrests Tyler after he kills their mom. <laughs> They're not gonna propose. They're twins. They're siblings. Tyler said no rights for cops. Yeah. And then the cop adopted Allison and didn't let Allison and Tyler see each other for seven years. Whoa. Yo! There's no place like home. Yeah. That's so cool. You guys can tell. I'm just. I, I just. We stand. Would it ruin the moment <laughs> if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Canada. They're close enough to Canada, right? Alaska's like up, like that way. Hey, what's up, Sam? It's so weird being back on this boat. Okay, wait, what's in here? Yikes. Crime control. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Hey, man, it's your truck. You do. Beer is my sport. Check my six pack. Alaska's in the sky, Ari. Great stream title. Might have to go in a couple sex, by the way. Okay. All good. But uh, thank you. I'm glad you like the stream title. <laughs> Can I just look out there? Just... Wow. Look at that, dude. This... Freaking game! Gonna make me cry, I can already tell. Why am I looking through this random dude's junk? It'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Wanna draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd six as old and boring folks, are you? All right, let's talk to this Alan Alexander dude. Actually, let's see this first, because I don't what a waste. think I'm gonna like the guy. <laughs> my Salvador Alaska Sea Lines. Oh wait, that didn't say my. It said MV. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. To your Same mama's here. house. You from around here? Got him. Uh. I mean, I guess I'm from around here. Born and bred. Ah, oh, you don't say. I have moved to Anchorage around your age. <laughs> Got him. This was mostly Alaska <laughs> natives then. Lake Kid, Ida. I haven't been home in five years. Ah, uh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Mm. Right. <laughs> mm, not great. Alex Gershwin. I was about to walk away. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. I don't care. Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking. The penis. Ha! <laughs> <so laughs> Got him. Try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. I don't want to give too much right. information to this guy. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Okay. We're done with that guy. <laughs> when everything else fails, try doing what the captain suggested. Okay. Charming. Great. Nice. Don't know how I feel about this guy. What's this? Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Is Allison dead? Allison? Is she already dead? Oh, she just couldn't hear us. Great. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't already kill off the main character. Or one of the main characters. I played as her first in the game, so I assume that she's the main character. I don't know, though. How could she die? I don't know. Just fell overboard and died. It was over. Denali Expeditions. Discover the crown jewel. One day soon, I hope. Okay, wait. I don't know if it's pronounced like P-N. Wait, it's not a pianist. It's a P pianist. Yeah. Yes. Pan yes. Yeah. Do I care? Do I care about any of this? Is there anything here I care about? Introduction. Uh, there's no substitute. Uh, yeah, I don't. I just don't care. It's all ads. Turn this into a slasher game. Yeah. Allison's already dead. It's over. Hey, I'm back. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Are you? I'm. Are you gonna talk? Oh, what's Cannery's up? What's still up? going strong, huh? 
Not sure what I didn't even look at it. If it weren't. <laughs> I didn't look at the cannery or whatever it was. Is there any other buttons to hit around here? I see I see no buttons anywhere. Okay, bye. What I don't know how to progress the story. Um, I guess I have to look at those ads, don't I? That's like the one thing I haven't done yet. Alright. Alright. Uh it's a it's a tea. Spill the tea. Sis? Cool. I, I, I'm just gonna hope that one of this triggers something because I'm not actually reading anything. Like I like dancing. It's a dance group that celebrates ancestry, community, and tradition. We invite you to join us. On Monday, a day at 6 p.m. And it's free. And you know what we say about free things. It, they're great because you don't have to spend money on them because they're free. <laughs> nice. Okay. She turned around now, so maybe if I touch the map and call her... Oh, I guess I can't touch the map. No, touchy, touchy. Is there anything else I can click here? No. Well. Just like subbing with bro. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that. You know what else is free? And there it is. <laughs> okay, I was just meant to waste time until I got to the docks. Cool, we're here. What's up? Homie? Homies? Let's go. Back to the car, Ronan. Oh. That was a really bad sound for a car to make. It's not supposed to make that screeching noise when you open a door, I don't think. You know what's also free? What's also free, QWERTY? Following people on Twitch? Yeah, you guys can drop a follow if you want. I'm nearly at 200 followers. I'm five away, which is wild considering I hit, I hit 50, like, just now. Like, it was like a few months ago, which is when I got affiliate. Then I hit 100, just zoomed in, and then now I'm at nearly 200. And I just, I don't even realize I'm growing. I don't think about it. I'm just like, oh, whoa, wait, the numbers are up. What? Pouring river water into your socks is also free, yeah. I don't think pouring lava into your socks is free. Because you gotta find lava. But river water, that's just right there, it's in the streets. If your streets are a river. Throwing a rock at your neighbor is also free. I mean, yeah, I mean, the side effects of doing it aren't free, but the actual action of doing it, that's free. That's easy. Some of y'all are gonna get sued. Word. Dude, Corona. <laughs> now whenever I watch video, like watch TV or play games, I'm like, why aren't they wearing a mask? Why are they touching this thing? They're gonna get sick. Come on, what are you doing? Wash your hands, you just got home. Come on, why are you touching stuff? Then I remember it's a show from 2012. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Donut not Entertainment has a big thing with like Polaroids, I think. Maybe an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, yeah. we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Man, you know how, how rough it must be for them. 
Also, I'm just now getting Tyler probably was cutting his hair because he realized he was trans, right? And then the mother got angry, and that's when everything kind of blew up. I'm I'm assuming. Hang on, sorry, my I'm just realizing my um webcam's a little dark. I'm just gonna fix that real quick. But man, this this is like this sucks. <laughs> it 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 feels like it it just sucks hearing about all this. Did I? Okay, so doing it too much kind of like cool. It makes it laggy if I pull it up too much, but that should be good. I think that's fine. Cool. Fixed. Ari finds out about trans people. No, I find about found out about transphobic people, clearly. They're going to enter the house? I thought they were going to destroy it. They're not destroying it. They're just selling it. What's that? Uh, did it's you a window. Thing before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> Are you serious? Apparently I'm not allowed to look at windows. Wow, you're transgender? That's so poggers. Well, it's a good thing I remember this. I'm sorry, you have to trans find out about trans you folks. Sure the yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock? We own Who it. Who changed the lock on us? I just I asked know. that asshole. We're screwed. <laughs> you got a plan B? Yeah, we find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. I changed the lock in my house. Yeah, but you also live there. Neither of them lived here. The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Yes, what same. I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm a goblin. The, characters? the moon hag, the ice king, the old the bear. Moon hag? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey. Do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No. Am I supposed no to be doing idea. something? But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Maybe the window you just looked at? Yeah, true. Any truers? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep doing that. I don't know why. I don't even know where I got it. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? What? Oh, so we're civilized now? <laughs> break it destruction. Maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. Alright, well, can I just I could break open it? Oh, I gotta you listen to the whole conversation again! That, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. Alright, let's look around a little bit. Let's see if there's anything around the back. Why is everyone so for destruction here? Why are you not? <laughs> Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. She had the money for a gun, though. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Oh, I handed to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. <sighs> it's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. This dude's voice is smooth. <laughs> that one really hit. You know when you just talk? And your your voice goes to that right like frequency or whatever where it just hits your ears perfectly. Should have used that shovel. Well, we're not trying to break in. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yep. No any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. No, why do Okay, wait. Oh, wait. What's this? Hang on. Okay. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. Oh, wow. Great camera angles. Out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. 
so we need something to pry it off. Like a shovel? Wait, no. <laughs> Any chewers? Is that the pull you started? Good. Nice. We need a screwdriver. We need a screwdriver, okay. Yeah, we can find that out in the open somewhere for no reason. Uh, what's this? What the fuck? Okay. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she Please stop! We were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Just puts a poll up that says any truers and the winning answer is please stop. Great, thanks guys. <laughs> okay, we went all the way around. Let's check out this barn. At least the shed's still standing. It's a shed. Yep. This is a big shed. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. There were two other answers and answers, and they got one. Each got one vote. I didn't see them because I would have to switch to Streamlabs hey, for that, and I'm right. too lazy for that because I'm playing a video game, a video game. Okay, should be something in here that'll work. That seems like hey, a screwdriver. I see a screwdriver. Yup. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I um, I'm feeling something strange. Don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why Whoa. would it happen? Whoa. And why that memory? I they have know. a superpower. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. Ah, I'm a goblin. Oh. This could be too. <laughs> I don't know how that sounded with the mic and with the broadcast. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. So they can feel stuff. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just mm -hmm. have to remember which one is the silent frog. Silent would be this one. Uh, middle one. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> nice job keeping a secret, buddy. So, break them all? No! So, okay. First of all, we're getting a little more of their character development. Tyler is far more like, I guess, what's the word? Outspoken? Like, just calls stuff out when something bad happens. As we see with him um, defending, like, or going against hunters, defending the bear and stuff. And then you've got Allison, who likes to keep the peace, but ends up getting kind of abused or deals with stuff. Or is forced to deal with stuff because she doesn't speak up. But then Tyler's talking out gets them in trouble a lot. So, interesting uh, pair, I guess. Give me that. I want it. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? I want this too. Is this food? What is this? Huh. Who left this box here? Did I just it slide that into my, into my pockets? Me? Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. 
Did I just slide that bird feed box into my pockets? How big are my pants, dude? Wow. <laughs> Serious? Alright, let's let's get over here. Wait, why'd you have to break all- couldn't you have just unscrewed them, though? <laughs> Are you sure you want to go in there? Don't gaijin pockets have dead, more remember? space in general? Who knows what lives down there now? Um, I've fit my- my switch into my cargo shorts, which I'm wearing right now. I could switch my- I could fit my switch into these Are shorts. okay down there? It's- yeah, they are definitely Tyler? bigger. Then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. <laughs> All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. See you at the front door in a few minutes. Wait, so you could just get into the house from under the house? That doesn't seem safe. I mean, I guess they live in more of a secluded area, so it makes sense. But damn. Hold shift. Hold shift to sneak. Ow. Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Bro, they're superpower it's, twins! It's back. Oh, shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hat dragons. Straight ahead. I need to go left, I think. They telepathic. Left again after the goblins. Left after the goblins. And wow. you. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Why am I looking at his? At, at, okay, it's great. Yeah. Anyway, they're telepathic. This is like the telep. Telepathy from telepathy telepathy is not a word. Telepathy from Maze Runner. It's been a while since I've read Maze Runner. I don't think I've ever read the fourth book, but um, I'm sure you're right. It's just been a while. We are the crafty goblins. Yes, we are. <laughs> nice. Didn't wasn't she telling me to go somewhere? Where was I supposed to go? I found this. There's nothing up, and I'm supposed to be looking for a hatch. If I had a nickel for every time there's a pair of identical twins in a piece of media, I know where one of them is trans. I'd only have like two nickels, but it's kind of cool to happen twice. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Goblin den. Treasure room. I just assumed the goblins are British. It makes the most sense to me. What are you? Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Can she see what I'm looking at? I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. This is like the first sense of color in this underground place, hey, which is really nice. It always had to like be just cute. a lot of color, which is really cute. How is that banana still yellow? What ban Oh, it's probably a plastic banana. At least that's what I'm gonna say, so I don't ruin the story for myself. Straight ahead. <laughs> I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. I mean, who wouldn't? We really are connected. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. So who's Mary Ann? Mary Ann isn't the mother, is she? Ooh, hatch. Hang on, I gotta get a little far away so I can click it. Because the camera just doesn't want me to scroll too far up. Probably evil nanny. If they were British, they wouldn't be goblins, they'd be goblins.
can. Imagine going back to your childhood home where you killed someone to protect you and your sister. Oof. Seems harsh to have to come back here like that. Oh crap. I was just, that's great. I accidentally switched tabs, my bad. <laughs> Apparently if I just scroll a little bit on my on my touchpad, it does that. Tyler. Coming. Jesus, you okay? sorry. I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, Coming in, or what? Just working up to it. Are they gonna look for who locked their house? I feel like that's a pretty pressing issue. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? It's the Mad Hunter. We the Mad Hunter did it. Keep, what to trash and see what else this house might be trying to show well, us. They could lock it, but why would the cops change the lock? Because they had the key. We just got an achievement that's entered the Ronin house, and the achievement is called Homecoming. Wow. This whole chapter is called Homecoming, by the way. So I don't know if we're end oh, near the end already, but I hope not. Because <laughs> then I gotta end stream, and I don't want to do that. Machine repair. Well, we didn't do that. Maybe the other locks got rusty. I don't know. Who knows? Right. I feel like there's something else here, probably. Broken shelf, broken char, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Hey, I thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Ooh, this place needs some serious cleaning. Or an exorcist. Where's she? Oh. Yeah. What are we looking for? I guess I'll just look around and see what We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. <laughs> Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Um, Tyler's jacket is cool as fuck. It really is. Look at this jacket, dude. I have a jean jacket, but I don't have anything carved into the back of it. Like a denim jacket. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Is there this shit on the walls? No. Nice. That's just rusty. We Aww. were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Dude, imagine looking at yourself in your childhood mirror. That That's, I don't know, wow. probably hits. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were what? Lab rats. That's horrible. Hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Sounds like Marianne was the mother. Made soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. What kind of psychopath was this Marianne person? Well, she apparently pulled a gun on Tyler as a child um so not that great of a person string glue duct tape the holy trinity of house repair Marianne loved having something to fix oof yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? 
No. <laughs> I trip. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. Redeem ban in-game... Ban an in-game action looking at things? I'm gonna give you that money back, because the whole point of this game is to look at things. And I'm not gonna spend five minutes just waiting here. So, uh, you get your money back. I don't want to do that. No. Resume. Imagine if I actually did that. That'd suck. Alright. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These Not mint and flex. At the Vecchi's store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the, the quarters again. inside on the little tray, and then magic out pops a sticker. Who are the Vecchi's? They have a store. This Ben and in-game action works better in Minecraft. Well, also then I wouldn't be able to play. Or well, yeah, I guess if you mean just using it in general, if you mean just look banning looking at things, I still wouldn't be able to play. I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. But yeah, you're feel to redeem. You're feel feel free to redeem it when I'm playing something else. Astroneer, Minecraft. I don't really mind. GTA. Course. GTA is a good one. Fix the window. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? Mars Seven. Oh. I just want to know what happens here. Hearts. Yeah. Like it meant something to her. Oof. So it's their birthday, I guess. You have Astro Your Pogger. I, I have played it in the past once. Uh, I might play again soon. It's a pretty fun game. I'm still saving till 50k. Is that the no cursing one? Oh, wait. Uh, what's what's the button? Where is it? There it is. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? What does she Mom. look like? Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Oh. Marianne said no to everything. Made me so pissed. Oh no, dude. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. With big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No, Marianne. I want to hear more we'd about this voice. voice. So we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Didn't Al Gore go to prison for tax fraud? Is that the same guy? Is that the guy I should be thinking about right now? Because otherwise I don't remember. I've already been here. Um, let's check this out. I see a letter. Hey mom, we're sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please sir, please forgive us for doing bad things, sir, uh, sad face. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I'll tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We're sorry. Oof. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her to apologize for breaking that stupid vase, remember? Or your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. 
Dude, it sucks <laughs> seeing this horrible, every penny. horrible childhood they had. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. Who's Tessa? I always loved when she came over. She brought food and toys. You might not be quite so excited to see her now. Why do you say that? Her worldview is narrow. Oof. Even by Della's crossing not good. standards. I've said oof way too much because everything is oof in this. <laughs> everything is just sad and painful to hear about. Like, this person from their childhood who treated them nice even when their mom was bad might not accept Tyler. I I'm assuming from the way that uh, Allison's saying it. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them. If you want. <laughs> no thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us. But I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Minnie Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these in my keep. Get out of the way. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse you. I don't remember this. <laughs> it's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Everyone was a bad artist as a toddler. True. I remember tracing art and being like, Mary, hey, check this out. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Do, do we not absolutely have to yet? I, I feel like I looked at everything. I I used to like print out art, like uh clip like it was like clip art, I think. And it was like I would just trace it when I was bored in class. I'd be like, yo, look, look at this thing I did. And everyone was like, we can see that you just traced it. And I was like, no, but it's cool, look. Guess we never had time I to this. the collection. These came out of one of the prize What are, what are we supposed to look at? Maybe up? Right? Yeah. Inside yeah, up. the quarters, inside on the little tray, and then magic. Out pops a sticker. We'll go in that room after. I want to see what's over here. Anything? You. you what are you? Where'd you come from? A Tale of Two Swords. Seems like there's a lot of books. Like, these kids read a lot. I say kids. They are older than me, I, I assume. So Yo, what are you doing down there? I I'm glad he did what I would do. Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Of course. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Alright. Alright. I assume she's just gonna teleport to the stairs. I wonder, I wonder how they, like... I wanna open this before she has time to walk to the stairs and see what happens. Now this, this feels like home. This di dialogue is so natural compared to other games. Yeah, same with Life is Strange. I think for the second one, people were like, eh, it's a little bit off and weird. And even for this one, sometimes it feels like, hey, that's not like what a sibling would say to someone. Hey, or at least not in that tone of voice. From Juno. But uh, I think that they do really what? well with it. We so. barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Ali, Allison, and Ollie were writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar. We got some books, but mommy wanted. Went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. Aw. It was cool. There were a lot of wha whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water, stupid. Anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are, especially me. And then certain signatures. And you can see the different color spots when someone else wrote somewhere. That's cute. 
The only trace based game in the style I know a lot about is Until Dawn, and so much of the dialogue in that is so unnatural. I've heard of Until Dawn. I've never seen it played, and I've never played it. Um, so I, I have, like, no idea how it works. But, um... Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think oh, she so did us a favor with that one. Maybe they didn't uh, like they reading not originally. We'll start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. So now we know Marianne was the mother, which means that Marianne made them shovel the snow in the driveway. She made creepy creatures for them to fight when they were goblin, like when they're playing their role playing stuff. Like, that's weird, dude. Why would you make yeah, the horrible creatures that the kids have to fight? Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. Oh, <gasps> that's cute. Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time. All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Yo. What the fuck? Alright, well, if you're watching on YouTube, you could always just go frame by frame and read all of these. I'm not gonna do that, because there's a lot. And if you're here live with me, um, go watch the YouTube video whenever I end up making that in about three years. Um, <laughs> uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. Well, Face cam cover some, was, by the way. Oh, tried okay. Extra hard to keep it a secret, Marianne. Oops. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh, oh. She found out about the diary. Oh no. Ooh, this is a cinematic one. I don't get to touch anything. Give it back! Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that! I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl! I hate you! You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. It's just such a hard story to hear sometimes. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. Is good the writers to have the only character who misgenders Tyler be the major antagonist? Good to paint that in a bad light. Yeah, I agree. You think her room is still That's locked? why it sucks so much oh, to hear it. It's like, holy shit. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. Yeah, for real. I've seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. Back then. Yeah. Oh. 
Ooh, what what are you? I missed you earlier. Finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No. Did she teleport next to me? Hello. Let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. <laughs> That's cute. Well, are you... I'm not going into her room alone. You better be coming with me. I'm just expecting her ghost to show up and just... Stab the shit on me. What if you got DMCA'd because of your stream title? Uh, so first of all, hi Scrub, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I don't. Can you get DMCA? Can you get like in trouble for stream titles? For anything? I mean, I know that you can't do a stream that's named like with a curse word or anything. Solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay. No, I well, agree. It'd be fun. It, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the book of goblins. Yep. Do I have to read the book? Hand it over. Okay. No, I think Allison's gonna read the book for me. I assume Tao is the main character now. What we just started off as Allison, but. The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book, one that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Okay, so now I gotta read it. Great. Ghost memories. Now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Can I can I read it? Let me read it. Okay. Book of Goblins. Uh which one wait, which one did she want me to read? Crap. <laughs> did anyone remember? Cause I didn't. Uh oh, I see how okay. Uh we can go to the book whenever. Is it is it this one? The bear and the princess. Was it the princess's party? I feel like that's the one that it was saying. But I don't know. Um, oh yeah, that makes sense. Because there's all of these things. Princess and friends? Or something? Hang on, let's see what the names are. Um, the princess makes new friends. That's a friends one. The pelican helps her friends. Okay, let's say it's the princess makes new friends. Parties, right? Okay, party. Oh, yeah, well, these symbols look correct. Let's see if there's any way I can... Okay, I have to might maybe actually read it, because three symbols, all with that symbol around it, which looks right. Okay, so I assume I assume it's like the tor whoever gets the torch, sword, and coin are the characters that we have to align it to. Okay. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy. This is the one year anniversary of when she had to run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive, and organized by the moose, stalwart and fair-sighted. The old bear was there, with his claws so sharp, as well as a big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who mostly come came out at night, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back promising no wolf would harry her path, and then the animals led her to a fairy glen where a fabulous party had, had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky, and the gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. I'm the muskrat. Tag yourself. 
The princess had a very good time at this party. At her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies divide, devised a little bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we've hidden them from you. But we like games. Guess who's giving you each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch, which when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the wood when it's dark. And that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the second box. Inside there was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bear's hand to defend them. Hmm said the princess, someone who wants to make sure I'm protected if I'm ever under threat. Wish my friends would give me a gift like that. She opened the third box. Inside, there was a bag of coins that always provided money if it was for something the beaver truly needed. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold. Wish my friends would give me a gift like that. The princess saw by her friends and then she smiled certainly. Fairies, she said, I may have been thoughtless. But I appreciate all that my friends have given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the party, and all they had done to help since she'd move into the forest. And that is how the princess celebrated her first anniversary in the woods. That's cute. Okay, so we want someone who keeps it light, makes makes you see right from wrong, one who protects her and one who um, makes sure she has money to buy food when she's hungry and clothes when she's cold. So we've got um, Pelican, Pious and Attentive, organized by the Moose, Stalwart and Farsighted. Old Bear was there with his claws sharp. I think the bear would be the sword. As well as the big frog, prattling away. Haughty Muskrat, who mostly came out at night, had come as well. The bear invited on her back to protect her. So the bear is protection. There's a buffet of seafood from the pelican. So the pelican's giving her food. Um, and the muskrat did nothing. So the muskrat probably didn't get a gift. So it's between four characters. I'd say um, this one's definitely the bear. This one I'm going to give to the pelican because the pelican gave her food. Um, and the torch. I mean, let's just spam the torch and see if one comes up. Oh, wait, do I have to... Literally, don't even try to step to me. I'm just that good at puzzles. I also just got an achievement for solving the puzzle at Marianne's door. I was gonna spam it. At first, I thought I would have to click the, the doorknob every Ooh. time I, I moved. We're in. But, uh, we're good. Puzzle God. Right over here. The Puzzle God. It's so dark in the webcam. What is with this? Let's 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 remove the hood, maybe. I don't know why it looks so dark. I feel like I didn't do anything to the lighting. It's probably just the outside light getting a little bit um darker, so it's not so coming through the years, through the blinds as much. To feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. That was actually me? You're not gonna let me forget that. Actually, I did that, not you, not not him, none of you. I I did it. Well, Give me the attention. Start looking. <laughs> I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Uh, wait, what is that? Was that a saving symbol? Oh. Uh, where are we looking? Where are we looking? Oh, okay, I just had to move. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. Tessa? They shut me out. I thought we liked Tessa. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. There's probably a couple reasons for that. Them. I need my goblins. I remember now. 
We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She Man. was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Before she died. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna try just one more thing. Just because I don't like when the webcam gets super dark. Because it looks just... You know. Dark? There we go. I think I did... Wow, that's bright. Okay. That's adjusted. That's better. Look, it's, it's better. I fixed it. Look at me. Alright. All right, so we we now know. See, that's the thing with like an abusive relationship or um situation is that just like anything else in the world, everything's very nuanced. There's more to it than just one extreme or the other she extreme. Standing here, spying through the. So, like, with this mom, there's like obviously she's terrible to these kids. But she still cares about them in her own wicked way. And she just didn't get the help she probably should have gotten when getting these kids. Which is, uh, there we go. That's better. Is it better? Let's just. So yeah, it's it's interesting seeing this Window because drawing us while we played. they're not writing her as this horrible, evil creature. She still had that little bit of salvation, you know, of like. I want to help these kids, I love them, but it's like, she's not going about it the right way, she's misgendering Tyler, I, I gotta head out, see you Mason, thank you for coming, but yeah, it's really interesting, um, just seeing the nuance in, in the story, it's very realistic, because in real life, everything is nuanced, found your first hidden Book of Goblins figure, okay, so the Book of Goblins, we're probably gonna get a bunch of collectibles along the way, um, oh, we missed one, we, uh, unless we're going to go back somewhere, we must have missed one somewhere. That sucks. I'll find it at some point. It's fine. Uh, sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. I want to learn to sew. That seems like a really good life skill when I move out. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author see. go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's probably in that drawer. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. <sighs> wow. I always forget to breathe when I'm doing that. Sewing is an absolutely worthless... Is absolutely worthless. Oh, is an absolutely worthless skill that I've, only, I've literally only used once. I mean, I feel like... A friend of mine... Oh my god. It's here. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I did not say anything about that. No, untrue, I did not say that at 200 followers, I was going to play Just Dance in a maid costume and cat ears. I don't have Just Dance. I don't have a capture card to capture Just Dance. I don't have a maid cosplay, and I don't have cat ears. I mean, I could have the maid cosplay, and I could have the cat ears, but uh, I don't. I don't, okay? I That's all I'm it. saying. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? We use the first payout for that? Well, we found the diary, uh, and wow, my leg was falling asleep, I was sitting on it, so I'm gonna just sit on the other leg now. Just make both of them fall asleep. Raising your transgender kid, Virtue Seekers Youth Camp, cat ears are under 5, made costumes under 40, I could. Wait, so she had a book that said raising your transgender kid. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. What? 
Again, nuance. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. I can search for my costume for just dance room and can wear matching costumes. Not now. When I f finally made sense of a few things. Oh, that must suck. Because he's just finding out he might have no, killed her for nothing. That was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. Wow. I think I need some air. Yeah, it's like, what do you even think, then? That's why he's like, you know, like, we saw the same thing, right? Because if, you know, if he killed her and then she was not even doing anything, like, like if she wasn't actually mad, then he just killed her and she was Are trying you to be really, supportive. Are really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Oh crap, we get to see the dead scene now. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? If you guys don't like this type of stuff, you might want to... Leave stream now or mute it, look away, because this is probably going to get a little bit harsh. And games from this company tend to be very... they can get pretty dark and scary, so... I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is so dark. 
Okay, so we didn't see the death happen. But she was muttering to herself. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. I'm probably gonna put a trigger warning on the next streams. I didn't realize how dark it was gonna get. <laughs> About the book. I should have known, considering it's raising your transgender it was child. This, like, Do you even studio. Know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she, she wasn't trying. She never. <sighs> it doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Can't you talk to, uh... Yeah, I was just about to say Tessa. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago, and this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. I kind of want to go with stop making it about you, but I don't want to destroy this. Um, but yeah, stop making it about you, dude. It was about me, not you. And making it about you is really not cool. Seriously? That's it? Seriously. Okay, then. I, I didn't want to destroy my relationship with Allison, but I mean, it's just very like, you know, he just killed his mom and yeah, uh, we have a plan. So we have a plan. Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Always diary. 
been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like, it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm gonna keep asking. I'll try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Yeah. So, I don't feel as bad about... Um... Telling her to stop making it about herself. Because... You know, she's got to be, she's got to realize how tough it would be for Tyler, I guess. Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great, but mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it glorified war. Z zoim, zoim. Oh, lightsaber noises. Saturday, 5th, February, 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She's such a suck up. Uh, Zivex, thank you for the follow. What's up, bro? Welcome. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Do this, do that. I'm sick of her voice. I'm sick of that dumb name, too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Okay. Okay. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? <laughs> it was a gift from Eddie. He had them uh -oh. both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? What this is fuck? our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. What are you... Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about that, but I never... Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. How do you respond to that? Like, he's pretty outspoken. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. Congrats, you, you are. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just 
It takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. No, that was fair. Allie gives us a look, but so, that was fair. What are you doing here exactly? That, that, oh, that was necessary. Uh, yeah. I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Did he just give Tyler a look when he said Didn't that? You used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this oh, guy? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, seeing as your mom never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I, uh, kind of sexy. Guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. No one asked you, bud. Funny. Don't remember asking for your opinion on the subject. Tyler! What? That was fair. He doesn't Tyler get a choice. A fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Everybody doesn't need a part of their family if their family is horrible and abusive this like this. This gotta be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones too. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Is he wasted? I can't tell. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. I like how they just stared at him uh, for like a supply run to make good him. 15 Uncle seconds. Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to do's on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. When I say these guys are amazing storytellers, I mean it. Holy shit.
I'm gonna be thinking about this game in between streams. I should search up how long chapter one is. Before I sit here for five hours trying to finish it. Two to three hours. Okay. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I could probably finish that in this I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael. Oh, I'm playing his hair now. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? What? Huh? <laughs> I t I'm okay. Uh, let's do this one. I guess. Oh, I kind of uh, missed Michael it. Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh. And did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Oh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. This game's really cute. As you guys were saying earlier, the, the dialogue's really nice. Oh, oh. I want to have the crispy tocino. And noodles and spring rolls. And Yo, I love spring rolls. And cake for dessert. Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Is there something I should be looking at? I feel like now I'm in like the open area, there's so much to explore. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing yeah, I'm, though, right? I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> Crap. What, what am I looking at? Are you here? I love these memories. They're so cool. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Because it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. 
I like the pause. You didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. That's pretty funny. Okay, I guess I'm not authorized. Let's continue the story. I, I, I'm gonna probably take three hours to finish this because I'm actually looking for all the secrets and things. Like, can I get some bubble gum? Hang on. No, I guess not. Come on, I'm freezing here. I freeze, bitch. I'm looking for crap. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What's this? It's nothing. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Tom Vecchi again. Something in the office? Oh, wait, this no, is Tom Vecchi. doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Constantly with this. <laughs> Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure Tessa's she's married later, though. to Tom. Okay. Tom Vecchi is running for mayor. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Are you busy making sure of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Water. Allison, old fishermen aren't going to share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Well, I want to see what he's looking at. What? what? Oh, this thing. No way. The Trout King is still here. I... I've realized I don't care. <laughs> But uh what do you think a snack was? Okay. Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Candy. 100%. Oh, man. I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency of fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, dude, I want ramen right now, not the lie. For these. You're planning to be a ranger, right? Yep. That's the plan. I'll probably start by cleaning honey buckets, but one day, I'll make it to Denali. <laughs> you say Denali like the whole thing's covered in gold leaf. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Or, hey, do we get yeah, boomerang or organic cool clean? Ice cream? In 20 I think degree organic weather? sounds mm, better. I don't think it mattered, but organic's probably better. So yeah, this this is interesting because Tom is running for mayor and it's kind of been a side thing. Like, they don't mention it or anything. Like, if you're not looking carefully, you won't see it. Artificial is always better. I don't know. Give me some juice. I want the juice. You can get some juice for tomorrow morning. Right. I'll grab some OJ. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't often get... Community organic uh or i don't normally get do all people or a wow jesus <laughs> i don't normally get all purpose cleaner i don't, I don't i'm not the one who buys it fresh cut peonies triple layer chocolate chip cake toasted marshmallow where's the marshmallow what nope just browsing these fancy ass candles okay wait there's two holly candor glacier scented light candle Okay, well, no, I'm getting scented. Are you... What? 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 Of course okay. I'm getting scented. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Now, let's just leave. Yo, fuck you, Vecchi. I'm out. Uh, 
You oh, might want to put fuck. that in the basket before you leave. I'm not I guess sure I can't. To catch you stealing. What? Oh, sorry. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay wait, for the wait, groceries. Wait, wait, what am I? Oh, I'm talking to this guy. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. There's like, let's see if we can trigger a memory maybe. Oh, yep, knew it. Where's it? Hold it. Can I, give me the prompts, there you go. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Who? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it. No, not whoa, exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Oh, we can call different versions of the same memory? That's so cool. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay, we remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? I want to talk know. to you. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm getting hit with a lot of stuff. Okay, so. I want to talk to you. Oh, we can choose different memories. Wait, what's this one? Oh, this is a different one. Alright, um... Let's just talk. Marianne was angry, or Tessa was angry. Well, I feel like Marianne would be more likely to be angry. So let's go with Tyler. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help! Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you! You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? 
Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? No, I can't go inside, obviously, because that's actually Tessa. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Okay. I just got hit with a lot of information, so I didn't take in all that, but okay. I'm I'm yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot here. What's this? Oh, okay. Uh I she plays Mabel in which is Michael Halloween is Halloween. off to the buzzard hole on Thursday Friday. That's, that's the only thing that I wanna girls. know about. It's important to keep up with the side characters. Hi. Is so, there something I can do for you? Let's let's ease into it. So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm Zach, lucky what's I have up, dude? Off, huh? <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. Uh, just shopping. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. I'm good. How are you, dude? This game is so interesting. All right, let's talk about Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was what in the middle of hiding? something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. Clearly hiding something. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about... She'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. Don't DMCA me, please. Her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. I hope I don't get okay. DMCA because I have to listen to a song that they're talking about. Alright, let's move. Alright, well, first of all, what is this thing? Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. <laughs> I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. I was about to say, isn't he right there? What's wait? What happened? What happened out here? I feel like I heard something happen out here, but okay. Let's talk to Tom. What's up, Mayor? Maybe Mayor. Wait, what's that? Aren't you running <laughs> for on. more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Zach made me mini dab. I had to do it to him. We should go talk. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with. Can I talk? Okay, I can't talk over brain. How's business, bud? How are you How's doing? Business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But that's finale, not Tessa, final. But I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. I, I don't you tried care. that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. 
But it's not bad. What do they think of that? Huh? Chocolate. That sounds horrible. How's the campaign going? You're gonna be a let's, mayor, let's maybe. Campaign trail. Oh, rally down at the harbor. Hydrate time. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. All right, let's get into the important talk right now. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> how could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Alright, fingers crossed I don't get DMCA'd. If it happens, I'm sorry. It's gonna ruin the video and the VOD, but... Come on. Can we not hear it? It might be because I turned music as a whole down. This is it, right? Think okay. So. Doesn't sound like I can hear it. I might, I might just be as a, I turn the music volume down as a whole. Saves me from getting DMCA at least. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? What are we looking at? All right. Oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I like how she's dancing to nothing. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's no. more memories lurking around? Well, there is. Let's I just see. can't grab it. There we go. Oh, did I not get it? Didn't get it. There we go. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take I'm back, Thank okay? you for coming. They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Confusion. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne. I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! All right, I'm not seeing any other memories. But we gotta find that diary. I don't see anything in here. What we what we seeing over here? Don't mind me, just looking through your computer. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, what do we want to look at? Uh, don't. What if I told you? 
Uh, oh, okay. Scam. Articulating God's design for sexuality. Preventing same-sex attraction. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Your order of garlic peeler chi kitchen tool. Chicken tool, I nearly said. Hey, Tessa, I just got back from workation and found the kids in bed sleeping like happy logs. Are you inside the house? Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Doesn't matter. And... Uh, nobody cares. Okay, so we got the one thing we needed, which is just... Can I help you, Allison? Yeah. Oh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. I like how she works here, so she can just kind of do whatever she wants. What's this doing here? Yoink. New collectible. I like getting the collectibles. They're cute. Ah, 2004. <laughs> Even if I struggle to say collectible, holy crap. Uh, June tw $24 for meal at the restaurant paid off. $11 doll for the kid not paid off. Not yet. $50 paid off February's debt. September $20 for gaff paid in f gaff gas paid in full. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. So everything's paid off until August. Help during rush inventory. Then October, no show. November, check bounce. December, no show. January, no show. And then sometime after that, she dies. It's really interesting piecing together the past like this. Um, I think this was a really good story idea. Of like, trying to figure out this mystery. I'm literally reading a book. I can do for you? I'm reading a book in English class that is literally the same thing as this. It's like piecing together what happened in the past. It's called Rebecca, if you haven't read it before, but... It's all about piecing together what happened in the past. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Shit. Uh... Crap, would it be October? Um... What time would make the most sense? August, she was fine. No checks bouncing, none of that. I I would assume it's October. I'm gonna do October. October two thousand four. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts. Okay, right? good, good, yes. good. We're good. We're I good. I don't know why she always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You were mad she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. She was done being judged. It's not... It's not she was done being judged. I would assume it's this one. You told her about the camp. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families. And that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? Uh, the Virtue Seekers. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? Oh, man. I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to 
let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. Holy and shit. Yes, we argued about it. So she was actually cool. supportive. Who I was. Yeah. She Holy was crap. more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. Well, get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. My whole body just went cold for a sec. I get really into these stories, and, uh... Jeez, knowing that she did love him all along. And then he Can killed her. Can we grab her groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Thanks, Michael. What are you thinking? Just, uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. This story is woe. It is woe. It's very yeah. woe. Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Jesus. Alright. Wow. I can't tell if I'm near the end already. Made Tessa tell the twins everything she knows. Full confession. That's the achievement. Alright, I guess we're not near the end. Of chapter one, I mean. This story is incredible, man. I'm so... I'm just so happy I saw the tweet about it. Because I don't really keep up with the company, with the game studio. I just keep up... I kept up with Life is Strange when that was still around. I don't know if they're making a third one. I don't this think is they are. Bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six. In the mean streets of Delos Crossing, just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. What you didn't answer my question. What about drunk bears? What do you do about those? What are you gonna what are you gonna do about the drunk bears? Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Stellos Crossing's longest serving officer. Alright, it's a beaver. Please wait in line, thank you. Okay, cool. Hold on. Are you? I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Yeah, I don't care about it. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Alright, he can do that. I'm gonna... Let's see if I can get in here. I want to know what this is. No. What, why are you following me? I thought you were doing something. Of course. It's locked. Alright. Home sweet home. Mm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. <laughs> Reception. Also locked? It's okay. Freezing in here. Mm. Locked. Why do I feel like we're about to find Chief Brown dead upstairs?
Okay, how much you want to bet there's a Life is Strange reference here somewhere? Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Oh, Damn. no. Always liked his art. In Life is Strange, kids do go missing. Because, well, I don't want to spoil I mean, eh, it's been a couple years since it's been out. They oh, I should also be listening. They're sending psychiatric relief. How come? What's that? Alaska only has one psych hospital with less than a hundred beds. If anyone else ends up in distress, they go straight to jail. Jesus. Damn. I didn't know that. How do you know? Aaron, he's really passionate about that stuff. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Uh, can I read this one? Nope. Wait, Claire Brown? Oh, sh- Oh, no. That is... Not good. Stella Rays and Rebecca Chan. Why do I recognize the name Rebecca Chan? I feel like that might be one of the kids from Life is Strange. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. But there was literally a point in the Life is Strange story where there is a creepy teacher abducting l girls and then killing them and burying their bodies, I'm pretty sure. It was horrible. It was gross. It was intense. You need a huge trigger warning to, to watch that series because it was bad. And I feel like I recognize the name Rebecca Chan, which means that they it might be a Life is Strange Easter egg. Because I, I doubt they expect many people to read all of the people's missing things. Ooh, wait. Uh, where is it? Am I not pressing the right button? There we go. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Jeez. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Huh. I don't know what this is. Is that like shit? Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. Wait, I wanted to know about this thing. What'd you drop? What did you do? Oh, well, nothing's broken. We're good. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm. Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great. <laughs> huh. Is that like an old timey police scanner? Yeah. So cool, right? It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> Nerd. That's pretty cool. If I cared about cops. Huh. Why do they look so familiar? <laughs> oh my What's god, this? that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me he's got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? <laughs> Officer Dan Vin Vincenzi. You remember okay. Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Becky's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? It's a whale drum. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Oof, L. When was it? I like how we're just going through some random person stuff. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Oh, it's Denise's 29th birthday. Cool. Congrats. You're probably a side character that's not going to show up ever again, I'm sure. Wasn't there something else? Yeah, there it is. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oof. I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. 
Let's just wish her a happy Maybe birthday. she won't notice that I added it afterward. <laughs> Using her post-it note and pen. Didn't even go out of our way to get our own. Happy birthday to- wow, you are a uh, quick drawer, man. Quick artist. Alright, what else we got here? Remember a this wolf. fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh... He died last year. Oh, you're telling me there's a dead dog in this story now? Are you serious? Yeah. Poor D. Okay, don't care about this. Let, let's let move on. Let's see if there's anything else interesting, and then let's just move on, because... We've been here far too long. Unless I see, like, a gun or some crap. Okay, it says examine, which means interesting lore, probably. Um, due to overcrowding situations, some patients will be blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so they're moving. I, I think that's what he was talking oh, about. Rags. Just leaving this out on display again. All right, let's go upstairs. Like Officer Greg's? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's Tyler. You coming? Alright. I know I could look for collectibles and do all that stuff, but it's just taking so long to do all that. Let's knock. Let us in, bitch. Oops, I missed a dialogue. It's fine. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. <sighs> Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Uh, anything up here real quick that I want to take? You think we could find some files okay. about Marianne in the archives? Um... I doubt he would care about the rules, so let's just say I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask Chief Brown later. Uh, armory. Okay, so that's what he was talking about with the guns. Alright, I like how he does his own thing. When I'm not controlling him, and same with Allison, when I'm not controlling her, she does her own thing. It's like, and like, if I don't walk up to the armory, he'll say like, oh yeah, did you notice like this is like... Probably where they keep the guns, right? I think it's really interesting how, um... Hey, Elaine! Rat kid. Oh crap, can I go in with them? Alright, I guess not. Let's go in! You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. <sighs> Something's in the way. Wait, so what was the memory about? I'm so confused. <sighs> Something's in the way. Oh, I feel like I missed so much. Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. The mailbox what bandit. Do? Uh, stealing from mailboxes. I wanna this talk about this guy. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> Uh, see, yes. I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like, hopping around hey, on a with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Malone's I smell? Why? What did I do? Alright, can I please get this vision? It's not- I'm hitting right trigger and it's not letting me do the thing. Okay, let me walk away. Should I go inside, maybe? Oh, wait, I don't even know if I can go inside this one. Uh, and there's nothing to hit! Mullen said you smell, don't lie, Rook. You guys are mean. Why is it not letting me open? Okay, I guess I'll open this first. Maybe it'll let me in after that. It'll let me see the vision after that, I mean. Okay, let's go in. It's still not letting me see the vision. That's so weird. I'm definitely clicking the right button, maybe. Could be mean to him. Look, I'm not mean to anyone. I'm here just to vibe him, man. You guys are the ones being mean to me. Hmm. 
Where is this thing that I'm supposed to be? Oh, there it is. Hey guys. Where are we going? Uh -oh. sit down in here. And I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh no. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. If it means anything coming from me, you don't smell. <laughs> Y'all don't even know me, alright? I probably I'm sure I smell great. This is a locker room. Let me steal the locker key and make it in here. Wait, there was a locker key. Hang on. Can I take it? Can I be a total dick? Let's check. Let's see. Please, please. No, it just lets oh. me look. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Yep. Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder where Delos Crossing's best cop stash is in her locker. Maybe she keeps a spare key somewhere? We know where the key is, you... Wait, what's that noise? Is that a ringing noise? Okay, wait. Does that mean I can go and open it now? Okay, maybe I maybe I jumped the gun. Maybe I just jumped the gun a little bit. Hang on. Let's see if I can go and grab it now. And it'll let me unlock something. Maybe get a collectible. Maybe I just need to wait for Tyler to say his uh, dialogue. Come on, let me take. Let me take. Yes, I, I knew it. Borrow this, right? I mean, the animation's messed up, but uh, okay. We just gotta remember to put this back. If we forget, I get yelled at and die. So let's not do that. Let's not piss off Denise. But uh, yep. Knew it! I knew that this game was good enough to let me use the things that I found to get to somewhere. I knew they'd let me do side missions like this. So come on, let's see what's in here. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. Alright, so no collectible. Balto came through. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. What's Rob? Alright, winner on my 20th birthday. What? Winner on my 20th birthday. Alright. New administrative software, please reset your password with the introduction of our new administrative software. All employees must reset- okay. Um, that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. So winner on Denise's birthday. That's on Denise's 20th birthday. That's the password now. Hey, Iron. Welcome. What's up? I don't know how much more this game is going to take. I'm going to try to finish this police station area. And then I think we should really finish up because I'm starting to get a little hungry. Getting a little bit, a little bit hungry, but I also am just okay. so intrigued. I'm just feeling a little nauseous with this story. Ooh, that's got to be a new record. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Yeah, this has been like one day. They just met each other for the first time in 10 years, and this has been one day into all of it. Oh. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay?
You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> now what? That must be why this hits him so hard. We should go find him. Like, he hasn't had any regrets about what he did. That room for a second. Uh, you sure? Just got an achievement. Remember the night the twin twins agreed to lie. Oh, is this what wow. was getting in the way? This what was? Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable. He dropped a vase. Here. Have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh, sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Oh, wait, this one? Nice. Good patch job. Huh, what's that back there? No way. Have you been Yo. back here all this time? Hey, I got another collectible. Let's go. The Ice King. Found the Ice King. Get out of my way. Alright, let's talk to him real quick. I feel like I don't talk to him much. Like, I never uh, click on I'm pretty sure these. Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. Oh, okay. It's just meant to push the story forward. Well, first of all, I want to I wanna move this. I want this out of the way. This is heavier than I expected. Makes that easier. And... Oh, there we are. Let's do another memory. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Oof. Okay, let's look around for some more memories real quick. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to deal, but it's a lot. Nothing in the locker room. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything on the way out. Let's put Denise's key back key back and also see if there's anything on her postcard or anything about whatever the winner on her 20th birthday was because um we could get into police files with it which could make it a little bit easier to unravel the mystery maybe let's see what we got here good work another year to prove that older doesn't mean or doesn't really mean wiser Enjoy your last day of youth before joining the Bitter 30-Year-Old Lady Club. Um, okay, so no, just banter. Nothing really about the story that I can see. Alright. Um, yeah, alright. Let's go talk to Eddie. See, what, see what's up with our boy. We're also about to have a very uncomfortable reunion between Eddie and Tyler. So. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed? I would say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. 
Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Um... I want to know what she was worried about because she was muttering she to herself. Did anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. Damn it. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for <sighs> being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. All right, well, I can at least ask her what her last days were like. I thought Did I'd just be on the pick one. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. So, the twins lied about something when they're in the police station. So we have no idea what's really happening. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <sighs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. <laughs> Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed. But I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? I'm not going to side with the cop, man. Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look. We've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to keep Allie and uh, Tyler together. Like I don't, I don't want them to get angry at each other or crap. And I'm not gonna side with the cop <laughs> on that. So I think that was a good decision. Plus, Tyler would probably get real pissed if Allie did not side with him. Stop! Oh God, we have to see this now. Matt, I'm 
Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Please. Mom. Mom, please. No, don't do this. Oh. So that's what they lied about. killed her and when they come that's what we're gonna tell them no no yes we look out for each other that's what goblins do and brothers and sisters it's gonna be okay oh. we're gonna be okay <laughs> Oh my god. So we saw the, the, the Mad Hunter, and now I'm piecing together that maybe the mom was delusional, and she was trying to kill the Mad Hunter or the Ice King or something like that. I just completed chapter one, I just got the achievement for it. Whoa. Oh my god. You can, everything we just did on stream today, you guys can play for free right now. Chapter one is completely free from what I'm, uh, from what I've seen. So everything from this stream, you guys can see for yourself. You can play yourself. Chapter two and three are paid. That's what I'll be doing next stream on this. But wow. Oh my God. So here's what I'm, here's what we got. Tyler lied to the cops, said that he killed Marianne. Marianne, from what we can tell now, she was not a bad, well, no, no, I'm not saying she's not a bad person. She was not gonna, she was not uh, gonna kill Tyler for being trans, a trans boy. What she, but she was still pointing a gun at him. And saying that she was gonna kill him. Okay, oh wait, I forgot about this. Even for Life is Strange, they give you like the. They tell you what percentage of people did certain things. So, it looks like not too many people have played so far because the numbers would not be that perfect. But Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. offering. 75% accepted it, 15% refused it, and 10% threw it in the water. Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. 84% solved it. 16% busted open the door puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. 52% chose Tyler's and 48% chose Allison's. That's interesting. It's very nearly 50-50. Um, but I am in the majority here. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. 67% sided with Tyler, 33% sided with Eddie. Very interesting. Um, by the way, look at all these perfect numbers. I'm thinking there's only like a couple hundred people who've played this game so far because they're pretty perfect. This one is split into thirds perfectly, so. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 52% called out Sam, 48% didn't. Also very 50-50. I'm glad, I didn't think I earned his respect, but I'm glad that that worked out in a good way, because Sam needed that call out, in my opinion. Tessa opened up to the twins about Marianne, 50% learned the truth, 
23 didn't get an answer, and 27% antagonized Tessa. So we're in the majority with a good response. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him. This one obviously is the same um, same percentage as the other one that's connected to this. But again, I'm in the majority and I think I'm in the right in this one. I don't know if pressing continue is going to continue the story. It will. Okay, we're going to stop um, and hope that everything's saved. I'm going to just click continue to make sure because if it didn't, I'm going to cry. Okay, I'm going to assume that that is, in fact, good. That was chapter one. It was incredible. Holy crap, there's so much to, to think about here. There's also the fact that Tom is a side character. Here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing that I've seen with... with um, hey, say hi, to, say hi to the VOD. Here's the thing I've seen with Life is Strange. First of all, the romantic love interest ended up being a horrible person. In Life is Strange 2, the, the, the love interest, he um, assaults the person that he loves, the main girl character. Um, along with that, um, the, the, the main male character who was like, who seemed like a good guy in Life is Strange 1, ended up being uh, someone who drugged and trapped girls took photos of them in like a photo shoot in this creepy photo shoot and then killed them and threw them in a ditch so yeah I mean, like i'm just trying to piece together what this means for michael and what this means for tom because michael seems to be the love interest but we don't really know about much about him yet and then tom we've we've had this like thread through the back of this entire story that's been like you know oh we're gonna like we've got this person running for mayor and here's what's happening with that but also we're never gonna mention it it's just if you take the time to read that news article and to look at that sign underneath tom tom is the shopkeep michael is the guy who works at the shop with uh ally so yeah interesting I don't know. I doubt they're going to completely retake story ideas from Life is Strange, but it is interesting that they never really give you... A, like, the good characters that you assume are good always turn out to be bad. So, be careful, I guess. Other than that, this was interesting. I think that um, Marianne was a good person, and she was having delusions, and she was trying to kill... From what I can tell, she, was try she wasn't trying to kill um, Tyler... She was trying to kill some hallucination, some uh, thing from the Book of Goblins or something. Real quick, also, let's... Um, I can look at all of the collectibles. Consequences we can relook at if we ever want to. And collectibles we can look at. So we've got four of them. We missed one. We missed one in the first chapter. There's five in the second chapter and three in the last one. Um, but we did get all these. We can look. I might look for the last one off stream, because. Oh wait, what's this? The Listen. The goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting it. The wise princess is a runaway from afar. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. The ice king is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge. That's pretty cool. Also, can we just talk about the fact- It's not a duck, it's a pelican. Can we just talk about the fact that in this house that they're selling, there is an entire door that you can op You need to open by solving a riddle? Like, who's gonna do that when they move in? You know what I mean? But see, that's the thing. That's the thing, right? Marianne was very entrenched in these characters. She had the door with a, a book- Like, a book of goblins kind of thing in it. She wrote stories for the kids- she created characters from no matter how creepy or horrible they were. You know, I'm pretty sure they said she created the Ice King or something. So it's pretty interesting how uh, entrenched she is in all of this because I think that, you know, it's possible that she was having hallucinations and that's what caused her to to nearly shoot Tyler. Um. So yeah, I, I have no idea. 
I, I'm I'm hyped. I'm hyped to keep going with this. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but uh, I cannot wait. We got a lot of achievements, which is cool. Obviously, as you guys know, I love getting that. We got seven. Um, and yeah, we're gonna keep playing very soon. I have no idea exactly when, just because um, I don't know. I it it depends. But yeah, um. I never really say this because, uh, I don't know, but share the stream and stuff if you guys want because I'm very close to 200 and I've been putting in a lot of effort and grinding to do this. Yesterday was the first day I ever met, mess, missed a stream since I started with, um, started with my actual, uh, schedule. So that's pretty cool. Um... Friendly reminder that Ari is 5 followers away from 200 followers, and I will not be doing uh, a dance in a maid costume and cat ears and playing Just Dance on stream when I hit 200. That's not happening. Nope. Also, it's incorrect. Now I'm 3 followers away. You could be one of those 3. But let's find someone to raid. Let's see what everyone's doing. I know that like a billion people hopped on. Okay, Ellie's got the Ari the Ace, or Ellie the Ace skin on, so I've got to just raid Ellie. Solely because of that. So let's start the raid for Ellie. I feel bad because a lot of my friends are live right now. But we're going to go with Ellie just because if you when you go into the stream, you'll see... I'm back, I had to take a shower. Good time to come back, we're ending stream. But uh, when you go into the stream, you'll see he's wearing my skin. He made a skin of his character with my mask on and stuff, which I think is really funny. Speaking of, I kind of want to do a stream soon where I, I make a mask for myself. I never made it. I want it. I want a mask that looks like it. But yeah, that's about it. I don't have my music open, so we're just going to not play it at the end. <laughs> we're here to annoy you. Thank you guys for watching. Share the stream if you want. Tell your friends and crap. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully uh, soon with another stream of this. Because this game is incredible. Bye.